Concept of gravitational potential energy can be very well understood as stored within the configuration of the body which is in the form of an internal energy and internal energy have no role to play in the motion of the body here a change in the position of the body can be brought in by some external force let a particle of mass m1 be kept at a point a and another of mass m2 is kept at a distance r1 away at b a force f is applied to take m to a point c which is at a distance r2 away from a our job is to calculate the change in potential energy from b to c lt us consider a force f is applied at p which is r distance away from a displaces it to q by a distance dr force applied on m2 at p f equals gm 1 meter 2 upon r squared along pa therefore wab equals f minus dr r2 wab equals integral f dr r1 r2 equals integral gm 1 meter 2 r squared dr r1 r2 equals gm 1 meter 2 integral 1 upon r squared dr R1 R2 equals gm 1 meter 2 1 upon r R1 WPQ equals gm 1 meter 2 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2. Since the work done is stored within its potential energy, therefore U equals gm m 1 upon r2 minus 1 upon r1. the minimum velocity by which a rocket is launched from the surface of earth dot so that it never comes back to earth is called escape velocity let the velocity of rocket launched as v gravitational potential energy at a height h equals gmm upon r plus h where by conservation of energy half a meter v squared equals gmm upon r plus h v will be minimum when h equals 0 half a meter v squared equals gmm upon r half a volt squared equals gm upon r therefore v equals square root 2 gm upon r multiplying and divide by r we get v equals square root 2 gm upon r squared r but on the surface of earth g equals gm upon r squared hence V equals square root 2 gr, which is the escape velocity.